Welcome back Pom Pom Gang and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video on how I am going to style and dye my wig. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, come back and see us weekly on Sundays. We upload every Sunday around 4 p.m. Welcome back, Pom Pom Gang. My name is Shantae, and I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom sisters. And today, we're gonna be still talking about this wig that I've been working on for the past two weeks. So if you have missed my last video on my first and second attempt of making this one damn wig, please check out those videos. This one, we are gonna be talking about how I am going to color and style this. So to get started, my wig is already made the correct way. And I will be in my kitchen using my kitchen sink to do this water watercolor method with the semi-permanent hair color by Adore. Now I wanted to go for a fall look and what color is better than orange for fall. So I'm using three different semi-permanent hair colors by Adore and that will be the Sunrise Orange, the Cajun Spice, and the Orange Blaze. I wanted my wig to have highlights and lowlights. I didn't want it to be all just one simple color. I feel like with orange you can have a little bit more fun with it. So I used three different oranges to achieve this look and color. Now to start off, I am in my kitchen sink. Um, I first boiled three pots of water to fill up my sink to have enough water to dip the wig in. I waited about 15 to 20 minutes before I actually dipped my wig into the water. I didn't want it to be too hot to the point that it messes up the wig. So I am allowing it to cool down just a little bit. So you can see all that steam coming off of that water is nice and hot. Now to stir up my hair color, I'm using some ragtag wood spoon that I had laying around in the kitchen. Something that I'm okay messing up and throwing away. Plus I got it from the Dollar Tree, so it's no biggie. Now to mix my color, I'm starting off with the Cajun Spice. The Cajun Spice is a color I want to have the most in my wig. It's the darkest out of the three, and I use the entire bottle for this. Now um, I'm emptying that all out, and then I will move on to the sunshine, Sunrise Orange and the Orange Blaze. Both of those colors, I will use half a bottle of. The Orange Blaze is a very, very vibrant orange, and that Sunrise Orange is right in between Orange Blaze and the Cajun Spice. So I'll have uh, the Orange Blaze playing as my highlight, the Sunrise Orange playing as my low light, and my Cajun Spice to be my primary color with, throughout the wig. Now once we dump all that into the water, I will then stir it up with my handy daddy wooden spoon from Dollar Tree and make sure you mix it up very well. Now the water ended up turning a very, very dark orange brown color. I could barely see through it. As um, soon as I dipped that wig in there, it, the, the wig, the hair color definitely held on to that color. It picked it all up out of that water. Now before I do the wig, I will do a tester because we want to make sure we are getting the color that we want before we dump the entire wig on there. So I'm just taking a track that I had left over that I did not use when making my wig and I'm going to swirl that into that water just to make sure it's the orange that I am looking for. This is the color that I want, so we are good to go to go ahead and head in with the wig. So I just kind of just placed mine in there. I didn't really have no method of madness on how to dip the hair in there. I just placed it in there and slowly started submerging it so that color could start attaching to the hair. Um, and I am going to speed this up, but I want to say over the time lapse, maybe three to five minutes is how long I kept that wig in that water. It definitely was very quick, very easy. My favorite adjectives when it comes to doing hair. So this was like simple and quick. Um, I feel like anybody could really do it. Like if you have no skill in hair coloring, water coloring is probably the best method to go with. Thank you. 
Now, as you can see, our water is getting a lot lighter than how it was when we first did that wig in there. It was a dark, dark brown orange. Now it is a very light, you can see through the water at this point. So that lets me know that the color is definitely attaching to the hair. So that's a very good sign. So after that, I kind of, you know, inspect it to make sure I didn't miss anything within the inside of the wig. I wanted to make sure all the tracks had got their color and everything looked pretty even and not too blotchy. So just going through the wig and checking it. And if you see any more spots, just dip it back in that little thing for like a couple of seconds. You don't even need long for that color to, to attach to this 613 hair color. So very, very, very easy. At this point, I'm just rinsing out any residue that may have been left over. Um, and the color didn't mess up my sink. Um, nothing that couldn't be wiped out. It didn't stain the stainless steel. But just in case somebody has to ask if it messed up my sink, it did not. The color did not stay on there. Um, now I'm just rinsing it out with some cool water and I'm wringing out the hair to make sure it's not going to bleed. You know, some semi-permanent colors do kind of bleed. This, I did not have that problem at all. And I'm just showing those low lights and the highlights. The frontal took a lot darker than the bundles did. Um, but I've watched a lot of videos where they said that kind of does happen when it comes to water coloring. And it didn't bother me because I wanted that, you know, multi orange color effect in my wig. So that was not a problem at all. At this point, I'm just conditioning with my Aussie conditioner, something I had laying around. Um, and I'm just making sure that the hair color is not going to dry out the hair. And it didn't at all, but I'm taking the extra caution by using some conditioner after. So I let the hair hang on my mannequin overnight to allow it to air dry. This is what it looks like after it has spent the night air drying. It was still a little damp, so I'm just going in with my blow dryer to completely dry the wig out, and it's on a low heat. Um, once completely drying the wig, we are going to now style it. I want to go for like some effortless body beach wave curls. Um, I love the look of effortless curls where it just looks like you tousled your hair and walked out the door. So that's the look I want to go for this wig. I'm not going to really trim it because it's at the length that I want right at my shoulders. Um, so we're just going to throw in some curls using my flat iron. Before we style the wig, I'm sorry, we're gonna go ahead and tweeze that hairline. It was a very thick hairline. Um, it had like a lump and everything. So we're gonna go in with some tweezers and a comb and a tweeze to make it look a little more natural. Now, um, I've kind of seen this method of tweezing almost everywhere and they tweeze behind the hairline, not the actual hairline because sometimes we tweeze a little too much and that can cause, you know, bald spots within the lace. So I'm just going in and tweezing behind that hairline just a little bit and not too much. And I'm doing a light tweezing because I don't want to over tweeze. And then when I get it on my head, it doesn't look right. So I'm doing a light tweezing behind that hairline and we'll try it on later. If it requires more tweezing, of course we'll do that. But just something to keep it from looking so lumpy right there where the lace and the hairline meet, it is extremely lumpy. Now that took about 15 minutes completely tweezing that hairline and this is what it looks like afterwards. And I'm just running my hair, my hand, I'm just running my hand across it to make sure it doesn't still feel lumpy, that it's like nice and flat and it is definitely nice and flat and it looks a lot better. So now we're gonna go in with the curling and I am using the Design Essential Natural Blow Dryer and Styling Primer um, and it's an activator so you have to shake it up before you spray it on the hair. And I just do a light misting of it 
um, before I go in with the flat iron. And when using a flat iron, because unfortunately I don't have a curling iron, to make those nice beach body wave spirals that I like, all you have to do is just, you know, twirl it like you're using a curling iron like it's pretty self-explanatory I don't really know how to explain it so I'm gonna just show it multiple times on how I did it now since I don't use my flat iron to make curls too often um, it was kind of like a trial and error for like the first four or five curls until I finally got my method down and after that it was just like easy peasy so low and slow when it comes to making these curls low heat and slow movements Once that is all completed, I am going to take my got to be free spray to freeze those curls in place so they, they don't fall too much. We are going for effortless, but I don't want them to disappear while I'm curling the rest of the hair. And this is it. That is it, that is it. Now this is before I comb out the curls and I'm just gonna finger rake my hand through the curls at first i tried to use a comb and that didn't go too well so i'm just taking my hand and finger raking through those curls to get them alive give them bounce make them look good and i'm just shaping them and you know to sh frame the wig and i absolutely love it i love the curls i love the color i can't wait to try on this wig because it's going to be so freaking bomb Yes, honey, the look is finally complete. Stay tuned because of course I gotta get a video on how I lay this wig and slay. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all next Sunday.